My name is Rich Caglia and I've been working in the Caglia family of businesses since I was old enough to empty a trash can and sweep a, sweep a floor. Family business started as a landfill essentially and we have grown into a hauling company that's expanded itself over the Central Valley and then of course the facility behind me, Cedar Avenue Recycling and Transfer Station which started in about 2003 serves as a regional facility for all of our local municipalities that we contract with on top of our other industry partners that we do business with. My family's been around for so long because we like to stay on top of technology. In the past couple of years, we have spent a significant amount of capital on our waste and recycling line. For instance, we're talking specifically about the AMP robotics that have been recently installed to get more material out of the recycling stream and keep that material out of the landfill. On a daily basis, we accept about 1,500 tons of trash to the facility, 350 tons of single stream recycling to the facility. We have a quality control aluminum can robot, and then we also have a, a HDPE robot and a uh, last chance robot, and then the polypropylene. With our partnership with AMP, you know, we've really focused on polypropylene uh, within the single stream. And number fives are a challenging plastic to uh, divert from the landfill because of the uh, different shapes and sizes it comes in. Bringing the robots in to quality control our plastics has been one of the biggest things we've done recently. The team came out and we had them in within three days. The time frame, the flexibility of AMP to come out on a weekend and install, not impacting our, our production. Love working with AMP. Uh, the dedication that the team has to uh, emerging technologies and always evolving has been very, very beneficial. The uh, AMP robots with our optical sorters increases our diversion level consistently throughout the day. It's great, we were able to reallocate labor that would have been on the quality control area for the containers into other areas where we can continue to increase our diversion. Probably the number one thing that we think about after safety is people. We've raised um, wages because we want to take care of our people. We're also creating better benefits packages. The more hands we have, the higher our diversion rate is. So when we don't, we're not able to have people in critically staffed positions, uh, that becomes a challenge and that's why we partnered with AMP to, to mitigate that. When the robots were placed, we were able to take the people who were working there and reallocate them to another piece of our operation. And with the, the big push of keeping the polypropylene out of the landfill, having one dedicated to pull that polypropylene is huge. It's functioning very well and it's keeping the material out of the landfill and it's also now a marketable product for us. What really drove the decision was the availability of the polypropylene grant through the recycling partnership. That piqued my interest that there was monies available to increase our efficiencies. We uh, selected AMP through that process and understanding the technologies that were available to us and how that we could utilize that beyond just the polypropylene robot, but with the rest of our, our plastics as well. The Recycling Partnership is a great team to work with. They bring awareness to items like polypropylene that aren't necessarily top of mind to a recycler. What the robots mean for our business today is to supplement the labor that we have on our line to be able to get more material out of the waste stream that only those robots can see. They know what's polypropylene, what's a UBC, what a HEP can is, so you don't have to train that. So it increases our throughput and our bandwidth in other parts of the facility. And as they continue to learn about more products that are coming across that line, we're getting more and more out and creating a more quality product. Therein lies one of the issues of reducing the amount of residual going to the landfill, which is really good for regulation, it's good for recycling, and it's good for our municipality, and it's good for the community. Cagley Environmental has the ability to go into any business or any municipality and provide all the solutions they need for them to become compliant under California state law.